This is Carista app and is best for customizing vehicle hidden settings. So for example, you can enable opening windows from key fob or disable your seatbelt warnings depending on your car model. Every car model will have different settings you can edit. That depends on the vehicle manufacturer. To use this app, you will need OBD2 adapter. You can use Carista has their own adapters. You have this classic one or then better Carista Evo, the most recent adapter. I will put the comparison between two so you can pause the video and check which one you want to get. Now let's get in my car and I will show you how you can unlock hidden features of the vehicle using the Carista app. Connection is very simple. All you need is to find your OBD2 port. Just plug it inside. Now you need to start your ignition. So you need to see dashboard lights. Now you have four options. You have customized diagnose service and live data. Diagnose and live data are for diagnosing, so reading engine data and codes. Service is for service procedures, so stuff like unlocking your brake calipers when changing brake pads or resetting your DPF filter. But the biggest strength of this app is in this customization. Now let me go to customization. By the way, if you use Evo, it is a lot faster than the old adapter. I wouldn't recommend using the old one. Oh shit, starts to rain now. Okay, now I have my customization settings loaded. These are all the categories and each category has some options to customize. For example, if I go to Windows and Sunroof, open Windows via long press on remote, I have it on. These are the settings only for my Windows and Sunroof. Well, only Windows, I don't have Sunroof here. But then you get a bunch of other categories. For example, dings and warnings. I use this to disable my seatbelt warning and some other annoying alarms in the vehicle. Now these options are just for my vehicle model. And as I said in the intro, every car has different options you can customize. Customize. So how do you find out which options you can customize for your vehicle? Even before you buy the adapter and use the app, you can go to Carista website. This is why I like Carista app, because you can know which options you can customize even before buying the adapter and app. So you just go to supported cars. If I select my car, Toyota, Corolla, 12th generation. And now as you can see, I can see every option I can customize. So for example, these dings and warnings, exactly the same options they have listed on the website, the same options we will get later in the app. Now, which cars will have more options? Definitely the newer car is, more options you will have. And also some car brands will have more options to customize than other. The most options you can find in VAC cars, that means Skoda, Audi, Seat and Volkswagen. And then also BMW has lot of options to customize. Now the customization settings are part of the premium plan so if you want to customize anything you will have to get premium plan but don't worry there are some very cheap options to get. Now you can either get one year subscription for 50 euros per year, you can get three months for 20 or you can get one month for 10 euro. I understand that most of you, you don't want to pay subscription to change a few settings on your vehicle. So what I'm recommending, absolutely the cheapest way you can do this customization is buy one month subscription and get cheap adapter. You can use this app even with other adapters. You don't need Carista adapters. For example, you can buy VPIC for Android for around 15 euros, then get one month subscription. So you pay total only 25 euros. Then you will do all the changes you want and simply stop paying for the app cancel your subscription and all you paid is 25 euros and you can do unlimited customizations for one month if you cancel the app and even if you take adapter out of the vehicle all your customizations will stay because now they are written in your car's electronics so you don't have to worry you don't have to pay subscription to keep your changes if I go to this diagnose, the adapter will scan all of my control modules for fault codes. And with the Evo adapter, this scan is faster. I used old adapter on this very exact car. And with older adapter, this scan was twice the time than with this Evo. But still, it is not the quickest scan. Some of these scanners are a little bit faster than this. Okay, so now I have scan completed. The Carista app was able to scan all of my 33 control modules and I don't have fault in any of them. Then you also got, you can look at the live data. So I have a bunch of the different options. I have basic OBD2 live data, some of the basic engine data, which will of course change live. So if you watch, for example, the RPM, if I step on the pedal, start the engine, it is changing in real time. 
but you cannot display live data as graph so for watching live data there are definitely better apps for example the car scanner pro i will link it up here if you want to check it out then when i go to other categories for example uh, some other engine data now these are already part of the premium program i cannot watch this ac data only one live data value to watch but also you need to pay to see this i mean for watching live data there are definitely some better apps but also another great feature about this app is this service tab so these are service procedures if you need to code new battery or unlock your electronic brake calipers you can use service procedures not sure which are available for my car we can check it out together Okay, so we have only tire pressure sensors, so if I would change my tire pressure sensor on any of the wheels, then you need to input ID of the new sensor to your TPMS module, and you can do that with this TPMS service procedure. See, now I can see the sensor IDs, so if I want to change sensor, I would just copy this ID to new sensor, or uh, rewrite the new sensor ID in my TPMS module. However, you don't have service procedures for this vehicle, should be also available on other scanners, you can see unlock brake calipers if you want to change rear brakes. Yeah, but for this model we have only one service function then you get detailed issue information so this is basically a list of control modules you can find with some calibration id and then you got emission tests so status of your readiness monitors all are ready so i know my emission and exhaust components are in good health okay so this was carry up i mean for customizing vehicle settings it is very good app you have some customizations for example disabling seatbelt warnings for my toyota i couldn't find in other scan I tried maybe five scanners with ECU coding and disabling seatbelt warnings was only in the Carista and Tech Stream. Carista Evo is also a very good adapter. Now the old Carista adapter definitely don't buy that. You either buy Pro and have really good fast adapter or if you want to save money don't buy old Carista adapter. Buy the even cheaper VPIC. VPIC costs like third of the old Carista adapter price and it can do exactly the same. I already tried. So if you want to save money go with VPIC adapter. They can all work with Carista app. If you need some faster and more reliable option, you can go with Carista Evo. And then for subscription, that is on everybody to decide. If you want to do just few quick customizations, just buy one month, do customizations and cancel the subscription. Or if you plan on doing lot customizations, then just get one year subscription and you can do maybe some customizations for your friends or other people and they can pay you a little bit of money to compensate you for that yearly subscription. As always, link to buy everything will be in the description.